Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. And if your VPN is not working with Amazon and whenever you're trying to reach a specific show, or even if Amazon is giving you a proxy or VPN error, if it tells you that you're using a VPN and you know, you should turn it off before using it, it means you're either using a free VPN, an unreliable VPN or a proxy because none of these will work with Amazon or most popular streaming services for that matter. So in this case, you're going to need a reliable VPN. And that's why I've chosen Express, Nord and Surfshark. Now, all of these three will work remarkably well, but it really depends on what you're looking for and your specific needs and situation as to which one could be the best choice for you. So I'll talk about them a little bit later, but let me just show you guys how this basically works. So you want to go ahead and download and install one of these VPNs. You can use the links below if you'd like to save a little bit more money on your subscription. Once you've bought one of them, you can download and install them. Use your credentials to log into the application, no matter what platform you're using. They're all compatible with everything, basically uh, almost all smart devices. So once you're in, just go ahead and connect to the correct location. In this case, let's Let's just assume that you're going for the American library. Maybe you're not in the States and you're trying to catch up with some uh, local shows. You can just connect to the state server. And once you're connected to the VPN, you can go back to Prime, give it a refresh and it will change. And in case you don't get the show that you're looking for, let's just say you're looking to watch The Office and you go ahead and look it up and you notice that it's not available. Um, I think it is available in the UK library though. So we'll go ahead and just disconnect and we'll go to the UK library and we'll see if we can find anything there. So just connect to the United Kingdom and the moment you're connected, you can go back to Amazon Prime, give it a refresh and hopefully the office will show up. Oh, looks like we do have access to it and that is basically it. So that is as simple as it gets as far as accessing these streaming services, including Amazon Prime or anything else. Now, as far as which one to go for, I mean, I would go for ExpressVPN, personally speaking, because I've been using it for over three years alongside Nord and Surfshark as part of an extensive test to see which one is the best. And I got to say, all of them are remarkable VPNs, but I just saw myself using ExpressVPN because it's simpler and the time to connect and disconnect is just so short that it makes me want to use Express over any other VPN. So let me just give you another example of why I like to use it. So as you can tell, the connection and disconnection takes about roughly a second. But let's say I want to connect to one of these countries here. Let's just connect to Italy. So if I go ahead and click as you can tell, it does take more than a couple of seconds or two to connect to Italy. And if you connect, it can disconnect immediately, obviously, but it really just depends on the server. So if I go ahead and connect to Dallas, it connects in roughly just a few seconds. So three, four seconds, whereas ExpressVPN takes about one to two seconds. This is one of the main reasons why I like to use ExpressVPN. Besides the fact that it's also super reliable, consistent, very easy to use and super fast to connect. It's got the strictest no locks policy and overall it's just a very consistent VPN. Now, if you're looking for more of a well-rounded option that offers a whole bunch of features for a very reasonable price, then I think NordVPN could be the one for you, especially that it's got the NordLynx protocol, which arguably makes NordVPN the fastest VPN in the industry. So make sure you're using NordLynx when using NordVPN. Now, Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing much on security. Maybe a little bit of performance because it'll be a little bit slower than Nord and Express, but it's still a great VPN. You've got over 3,200 servers in 100 countries with Surfshark, over 6,000 servers in 61 countries with Nord, and over 3,000 servers in 105 countries with ExpressVPN. So if 61 countries and for the most part European and American servers are good enough for you, they can go with Nord, uh, but you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. If you want the maximum number of countries, which will give you, again, more content in general, you can go with Express and you'll be able to secure up to eight devices per subscription. So that's two more than Nord. And virtually an unlimited number of devices can be secured with uh, Surfshark's single subscription. So that's a very nice bonus 
uh, offered by Surfshark. Very generous of them. And if that's your thing, you can go ahead and get Surfshark in that case. Again, I like to use ExpressVPN personally speaking because it's super easy to use. Again, very quick to connect and I've got 105 countries. So yeah, that's a lot of IP addresses. So if you guys are interested in Express Nord Surfshark, you'll find the full reviews and the links to pricing discounts in the description down below. And speaking of pricing, out of curiosity, I did ask Express and they mentioned that a lot of people unfortunately end up spending way more money on the monthly plan because they buy VPNs thinking they might not need it for more than a month. And once most people use VPNs and realize how useful they are, they end up using them for much more than a month. So they keep renewing using the monthly plan, which is much more expensive than the single year plan. So if you know you're not going to need the VPN for more than just a month, definitely get the monthly plan. But with Express, Nord, and Surfshark, if you know that you're going to need the VPN for more than just a month and you'll continue to, you know, want to access Amazon and, and whatnot, then you definitely want to go for the yearly plan, especially if you click the link below, which will give you uh, free months and that'll in turn will save you money in the long term. So that is basically it for this video. Again, you'll find everything you need in the description down below, including discounts on Express, Nord, and Surfshark. And keep in mind, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can always go back to a month-at-a-time plan if you end up changing your mind. So comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.